Oh, CO. Been hearing a lot of madness here on uh, the internet and all kinds of. It, it, it makes you cringe. Yeah. Um, on TikTok, I don't really have anything to do with TikTok, but, you know, people sit there post things uh, and share things uh, that is on TikTok. So there's the women, and I call most of them insane and crazy. They want to uh, get even with the men who voted for Trump. Now, I tell you, every single one of those women belong either in prison or in a nut house for the criminally insane. That's pretty bad, isn't it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, they want to poison the men who have voted for Trump. So that'll, that'll end them, get them in prison and uh, also locked up in an institute for the criminally insane. Because they are insane. That's just it, right? So uh, also you, you have this uh, one problem with uh, the women. Well, if they want to shave their head, that's all right. I mean, if they, they want to shave their head, that's their thing. It ain't, it's not helping their cause any, or, uh, you know what I mean? Yeah. So, I mean, I'd like for you to get your thoughts on this madness. I mean, really, seriously. And, uh, and if they want to abstain from sex or getting married and things, you know, uh, to men who voted for Trump, well, they're more closer to being a conservative on them grounds, uh, kind of like Christian values almost when it comes to that. Because I think a lot of uh, women, you know, who, you know, in, in my opinion, my thoughts on it, all right, is that when women want to abstain from sex, that's, that's a good thing, you know, uh, especially if they're not married. And uh, that will, uh, well, let's put it this way. You know, where a lot of them has been fussing and fighting for their rights to, to kill babies. They ain't got to kill babies if they abstain from sex. Well, they should have learned how to uh, abstain from uh, certain types of activities and they, you know, some of the ones who ended up uh, uh, getting pregnant and then was like, oh, I can't, I can't carry this baby and all this. And then they end up wanting to kill it. And this is my body, my choice. First of all, yes, it is your body and you have choices. And the first choice you should have had was you should have just abstained from having unmarital uh, sex. Am I saying that right? Anyway. Uh, you know what I mean. Hey, I'm just going to be straight up and forward, you know. That's just all there is to it, just straight up and forward. You either agree, you disagree, that's fine. We're entitled, you're entitled, or everyone's got their opinions. Uh, I'd like for you to share your thoughts on that. Uh, you know, the whole thing is everyone uh, has choices. So it's not just women, you know, it's not... My choice, you know, women's choice, you know, my body, my choice. Well, everyone's got a choice. It's a matter on what you do with that choice. Are you responsible? Now, when it comes to women who uh, get raped and stuff, you know, and have an unwanted child in that case, I can't speak uh, for a woman on that uh, grounds, but I can say this is something to think about. First of all, all life should be revered and honored and respected, especially innocent babies. Yes, it is your body and it is your choice, but once that life starts 
forming inside of you, you do not have the right. Then, you know, because, uh, see, they, uh, the little babies, it wasn't their choice to do, uh, to be there. All right. And, on and hey, and if you don't want the child, there are people that would like to have children and cannot have a child and would love to adopt. So, you know, there you go. You got that. But there, but when it comes to someone who, any women who are claiming to be Christians and saying you're for abortions, uh, this and snap, that's between you and God, okay? When it, the ultimate thing is between you and God, okay? That's that's it. I personally, and that's, that's me, I don't approve of taking any life. I don't, you know, because some of the, the women who uh, say they're against uh, having children and they'll go and abort a child to kill it, yet they'll throw a ruckus over a puppy, you know, which I don't, I'm not for animal abuse. I'm against it 100%, you know, but... But, you know, people who uh, who speak out and, and speak up for abortions are the biggest hypocrites there ever has walked this face of the earth. That's my opinion. When you say you're for that, but yet, oh, oh, no, you don't you don't abuse a, a puppy or any animal and stuff or you're going to go to prison. Well, you should go to prison if you commit an act of murder. If you commit an act of murder, and that is murder, I mean, let's face it, um, if a woman is pregnant and a bad person comes along and kills uh, that woman while she's pregnant, then that murderer will be charged with a double homicide. Hmm, I wonder why. Could it be because the child that is inside of her is a human being? Murder is murder, and it is wrong. But these women that go around, you know, wanting to kill people for because of, they have different views in them? Killing men? If there's any of you ladies or know of anybody or, or whatever... Um, that's spouting that rhetoric about poisoning men and stuff because they voted for Trump. Share this video to them, please. Uh, it's, it's because they're going to go to prison. You're going to go to prison. You're not going to go to prison for a few years. You're going to go to prison or a asylum for the criminally insane for a long time because that is murder just because somebody disagrees with you just you know like you have you know if you disagree with me you know you got every right to everyone's got a right to disagree with this or that I mean they got that right you got your own opinions but uh, you know it's like man it's insane it's a crazy world we're living in but I wanted to share this and see what your thoughts are. You know, share your opinions. Whether I agree with it or not, you can share your opinions. I mean, you're entitled to. But, I mean, what do you think about this insanity? Hmm? I don't know. It's just insane, isn't it? All right, well, I'm going to get off of here. I, or I'll be talking all day and all night here and I... Uh, I'm an old man, okay? I, I get that way sometimes. I don't mean to, but maybe it's an age thing. I don't know. <laughs> so you take care. Be blessed in all that you do. And and if you have an, a, a difference of opinion with somebody, you don't go around wishing ill on them, okay? You Even if you don't like what they're saying, you know, you ain't got to, you have no right to wish ill ill on them and I uh, will say this to anyone who's a Christian pray for your enemies we got to pray for them 
not wish ill on them. Uh, I don't wish ill on anybody, but I do say justice should be served, but not in a vigilante style, not not uh, going around hurting people because they disagree with you. I might disagree with a lot of people on certain things, but I ain't going to wish ill on you. In fact, I'm going to wish you all well, you know, but but if you want to wish a ill on others and want to take away people's rights in their lives, you know, uh, especially when it comes to the life thing, you know, um, all I can say is, you know, you're going to end up in prison and and what's the old saying is karma will be served. And to me, another word for karma uh, or meaning for karma would be you reap what you sow. So if you sow the seeds of discord and murder and hate and stuff, you're going to get it right back. I don't hate anybody. Everyone's got a right to what they want to believe, but uh, I disagree with murder strongly. All right, so you take care, be blessed in all that you do, and I will catch you later. All right, aho and wado.